Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is the super sexy and sultry look I came up with today. If you guys want to find out how to create this super hot look, then keep on watching and let's get fabulous. And for foundation today, we'll be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade Warm Beige 05. And we're going to apply that with a Sigma Dual Fiber Brush. And we're going to buff that into our skin until everything is seamless and blended. Using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light, I'm going to form a V shape underneath my eyes. And I'm going to apply some down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And to contour the face, I'm going to use the two darker shades in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Palette. And I'm applying that all over my face with a Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm going to contour the sides of my nose, connecting my eyebrows down the sides of my nose, and then on the tip. And to soften up the contour colors, since it could be a little drying, I added a couple of drops of the Josie Moran oil. And to press that into my skin, I'm using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And now it's time to bake with my Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I'm going to set my makeup under my eyes and all over my T-zone. And it's brow time. So to fill in our eyebrows today, we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate, and I'm going to be applying that with a Sigma Small Angled Brush, the E65. And what I like to do is outline my eyebrow first, top and bottom. Do this uh, slowly so that you don't mess up. And then once you've filled in, once you've outlined your eyebrow, then you do gentle hair-like strokes throughout the brow to fill in any empty spaces that you may have. When you get to the end of the brow, just tip your brush sideways and then just do one or two small strokes to fill in that area. And with the remainder of the product on the brush, just brush it up gently in the front of the brow and with a spoolie, spread the product out to make sure that there's no excess product on the eyebrow. And to set our eyebrows, we'll be using Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Voluminizer in the shade Soft Brown. And to carve out our eyebrows, we'll be using Max MW25 Studio Finish Concealer, carving it out with our Sigma Concealer Brush. As you can see, look at the difference between the one I carved out and the one that I didn't. This really does make a difference when you uh, are doing your eyebrows. It really makes them pop. And to prime our eyelids, we're going to be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And we're going to be applying that all over our lid with the Sigma's Concealer Brush, the E75. Applying this all over our lid is going to ensure that our eyeshadow lasts throughout the whole night. Let's get smoky. We're going to be using the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. And we're going to go in with the shade Combust and applying that all over our lids to set our eyelids using a Sigma short shader brush. So we're gonna be switching to the Naked 2 Urban Decay palette and we're gonna be applying the shade Tease with a fluffy blending brush by Sigma and we're gonna warm up our crease with this color. We're gonna be applying it little by little making sure that everything gets blended in and we're gonna basically set the mood for this smoky eye look. Switching back to the Smoky palette and using a Sigma blending brush, we're going to be applying the shade Whiskey to warm up our crease. And to smoke it and blend it out, we're going to be using a MAC 224, making sure to blend any harsh lines away. Let's get down and dirty. Using this black market color from the Smoky palette, things are going to get real messy before they get beautiful and fabulous. So we're going to be applying this all over our lids using this large shader brush. Uh, from Coastal Scents that I have and we're gonna pack in this color slowly. Take your time because black shades tend to have a lot of fallout and they can get all over the place. But remember, it's gonna get ugly before it gets beautiful. Going in with my MAC 224, I'm going to buff away any harsh lines I have. 
packing in more color as I go and then buffing it away. Packing in color and then buffing it away. Creating the perfect smoky eye takes a lot of time and patience and you need to realize that things are going to get ugly before they get beautiful. Trust me, it'll all work out and blend in the end. Using our Sigma E25, I'm going to dip into that whiskey color from the smoky palette and I'm going to apply that onto my crease and the outer V just to make it more of a seamless connection between the black we just applied. And I'm going to smoke it out using the MAC 224. Now switching to the Naked palette by Urban Decay and a medium angled shading brush, we're going to highlight under our brow with the color Virgin. And then we're going to use our finger to diffuse the color onto our skin. Time to glam things up and we're going to switch back to the Naked 2 palette in the shade Busted and we're going to apply some Fix Plus onto a large shader brush. We're going to pack this in onto our lid and we're going to use the Fix Plus because using the Fix Plus ensures you that the color is going to pop a little bit more. This color is beautiful and it has little sparkles in it and so the Fix Plus really intensifies those sparkles. Make sure you pack it in as best as you can. Uh, the more you pack it in, the more intense the color will be. Using a clean blending brush, you're just going to gently buff away any harsh lines you may have. With a stippling brush, brush away any fallout that you might have. To create the perfect cat wing, I'm going to use my trusty H2O Waterproof Liquid Liner by Wet n Wild. And to tight line our eyes, I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner in black. Using a MAC 212, we're going to dip into that dark whiskey color and we're going to start lining the lower lash line from the end into the middle of the eye. And we're going to smoke that out using the MAC 224. Grabbing some of that gorgeous busted shade, we're going to smudge that onto our lower lash line. And then to highlight, we're going to use the shade Virgin from the Naked palette and we're going to apply that onto our tear duct area with a pencil brush and then buff that away with a MAC 224. Now to bronze our skin up, we're going to use my Hoola bronzer using it with a NARS Ita brush and we're going to chisel out those cheeks, that nose, that forehead, and our jawline. This is going to warm up our face. With our stippling brush, we're going to make sure that we buff that bronzer into our skin. Applying some of this Cody Translucent Setting Powder under our contour is going to clean it up a little bit more. Dipping into my Smashbox Blush Palette, I'm going to grab some of the True Flush Shade and I'm going to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks using a Sigma Angled Blush Brush. And to give me that soft nose contour, I'm going to be using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm going to be applying that onto my nose using the MAC 224, connecting the eyebrows down the sides of my nose and the tip of my nose. Using the F35 Highlighting Brush by Sigma, I'm going to use Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop and I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose, the top of my cupid's bow, a little on my chin, a little on my forehead, and of course, the tops of my cheeks. This will give you the perfect highlight to blind all of your haters. Taking a small duo brush, we're just going to soften that highlight up just a little bit and blend it into our skin even more. To make this glam look budge proof, we're going to spray some Fix Plus. For eyelashes today, we're going to be going in with the Dual Liquid Lash Glue and the Ardell Demi Wispies. Let the glue get tacky for about 30 to 40 seconds before you apply them onto your eyes. And so your falsies go undetected by anybody. We're going to combine the lashes and your falsies by applying at least one coat of this Major Major Mascara by Stila. And we're going to apply some onto our lower lashes as well. And I'm going in with Bow and Arrow, which happens to be uh, my favorite nude liquid lipstick for right now. It's by Kat Von D. And we're going to apply that onto our lips. And it's going to create the perfect nude lip for this super glam look. To top it off, we're going to apply some of this NARS Stripped Lip Gloss on top. That's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this sultry, sexy look as much as I do. If you guys loved it, don't forget to show me some love in the comment section below. Please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till next time, guys. And remember, keep it classy, sexy, and stay simply fabulous. Hasta luego.
Bye.